Hey there guys, Luke here with the Outdoor Gear Review. I hope you're all doing well. Today for this episode, I will be showing off one of my favorite pieces of gear. This thing is absolutely awesome. So guys, get ready, let's do this. This right here is one of my favorite pieces of gear of all time. This is a Swiss camo. Check out that pattern. Rubberized nylon poncho. This thing is a beast. It's heavy, it's bulletproof. Uh, you know, it's completely seam sealed. It is 100% waterproof. I have used this so many times over the last couple of years in heavy rain, thunderstorms, and I've even used it in the snow. And I can tell you, you know, for a fact, I've never gotten wet, it's never leaked. And you know what? If you do a search for this bad boy, you're gonna find that everyone loves it just as much as I do. I'll go ahead and put this on for you and so you guys can see what it looks like and we'll talk about some of the details. <laughs> Check this thing out. Isn't this thing awesome? Now, I'll be honest with you. Let me take this hood off so I can... Sounds like I'm echoing inside my own head. This is an odd camo pattern. I'll be, I mean, this is kind of bizarre. I've never seen anything like it before. It's got some interesting reds and greens and I don't know. But you know the truth is, I don't mind it. It's definitely not bright orange, it's not bright green, not yellow, and that's okay with me. You know the truth is, if you're in the woods wearing this, no one's gonna, no one's gonna care. You know, if you're gonna be in New York walking on the streets, so you know, you might have a problem then, but you know, whatever. Like I said before, the seams are sealed, so it's not gonna leak on you. There are no sleeves on this, but you can stick your arms out, not too shabby. For me, that's not too big of a negative. On the sides here, you do have buttons that go all the way, yeah, about halfway down, actually. So you can open that thing up pretty good. You can allow you know your moisture, your body to breathe, basically, very, very well. These snaps here are supposed to be rust-proof, and you know... It looks like they are so far. Like I said before, I've had this for years. I've been out in a lot of different storms. And uh, so there you go. As you guys can see here, it does have a good size hood on it. It does have a drawstring on it. So you can cinch that up if you want it to be uh, that way. I'll go ahead and step back so you guys can see this thing and just see how big it is here. That's one thing I really like about it too. Take a look. Take a look at this thing, guys. I'm 5'4", and it would definitely go down to my boots, and that's uh, pretty good. And look at how much space is back here. A lot of people, including myself, have used this, you know, when it's pouring the rain, and, you know, I'll put it right over top of my backpack as well. And so, you know, you can have a gigantic backpack on and still be covering yourself and your gear from the elements, so that's pretty dang impressive. Now, for everybody out there who's into survival, uh, you know, maybe even their bug out bag, you know, this right here could be multi-purpose. You can use it as shelter. You can use it for collecting rain, uh, water. You can use it for collecting firewood, uh, you know, so on and so forth. Even if you had to cut it up, you can get a lot of cordage out of this. Definitely plenty of uses for all those people out there who are looking for items that are multifunctional. And this is definitely it. This thing is so awesome, I'll tell you what. I mean, you can sit here just fully protected from the rain. Uh, there, there's been plenty of times I've been out hiking around up in the mountains here, you know, and a thunderstorm comes rolling in. I'll just pull the hood up and I'll just sit. Just find a nice dry place to sit and just chill and wait to basically ride out the storm. And this thing does a fantastic job. Also, a good thing about it is that it does hold some of your body heat. So, you know, if it's cold and chilly, it's a nice cold rain coming down, you can stay warm with this on. You could also use a poncho liner if you wanted to. I should say here that with the armholes here, there are snaps all the way up, so you can seal that so water can't get in. Very handy. For those of you who are hunters, this is not a bad piece of kit. You know what, it does a pretty good job of blending into most mountainous areas. You know, from a distance, you wouldn't be able to tell what this is. 
like I said before, it is a little bit odd of a camo pattern though, and I've never seen anything quite like it. The negatives first, and then the pros. You know, it's heavy. It comes in around about two pounds. Uh, you know, it's going to take up some space when you roll it up and stick it in your pack. I guess you could say that the camo pattern is interesting. That might be a negative to some, not to me. For some, the lack of sleeves may be an issue. Again, not so much for myself. Not a big deal. Now let's go to the positives. One, it is true. I mean, it truly is a bomber, bulletproof piece of kit. You're not going to tear this thing up. And when you're going through the woods and you're going past briars and stuff like that, it's not going to scratch it. It's not going to put a hole in it. Also, I mean, if you sit down and sit on it in a weird way, it's not going to rip in half like many ponchos that you'll find at Walmart, so on and so forth. I would say the best part to this right here is the price. The price of the Swiss wet weather poncho is, get this, $10. <laughs> 10 bucks for this man this is absolutely awesome I personally I have about three of these I keep one in my truck toolbox just in case you know anytime that I'm out maybe I get a flat tire or something like that of course it rains here all the time so why not have that protection so um, I also have one in the house I have one in the workshop as well you know you just never know when you're going to need a good poncho and for $10 you cannot go wrong you cannot go wrong I purchased this off of Amazon for, like I said, $10. Uh, that included free shipping since I'm an Amazon Prime member. These do come used, but you won't be able to tell that they are. They look brand new, there's no issues, or at least not with mine, and it looks like from the reviews on there, five stars, nobody else had any quality control issues as well. For the Swiss camo pattern, wet weather poncho, there it is, kind of rolled up. Like I said, you know, it's not the smallest thing in the whole world. It's not the lightest in the whole world. But for $10, even if you don't plan on carrying it in your bag, you know, this may be something that you want to have in your truck, your car, so on and so forth. Because, man, you're not going to be able to beat the value that this offers right here. Also, the functionality and the different ways that it can be used are outstanding, really. All right, guys, for this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review, I do appreciate you guys watching. If anybody has any questions concerning this bad boy, please feel free to drop me a line. Of course, I will have a link to the Amazon uh, page in the description box down below. So there you go. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. We'll talk soon.